Hey, what's up guys? Um, Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. And um, anyone who, you know, watches these videos, I make all these lead code and um, hacker rank tutorial algorithm videos. Um, you know, you probably noticed that I haven't posted in a little bit. And that's because I'm kind of, I'm kind of done with my technical interviews right now. You know, I have a job in the meantime, and I passed my Google and Uber technical interviews, and that's what this video is. It's going to just kind of be an advice video for how I actually pass my interviews at Uber and Google. I made a post on my Patreon the other day, and I think I'm going to, you know, set up some, you know, very detailed study guides for different plans that you might want to use. So I'm going to put those on my Patreon, but this is... Um, I'm going to talk about the process and the exact strategy that I went, I used, but I think I'm pretty good at designing strategies for studying uh, in general. So um, I started interviewing, I started preparing for my technical interviews about four months ago. If you look back on my YouTube, I've kind of been, you know, doing the problems as I prepared. And if you look at my oldest ones, they're like four months ago on lead code. Um, I interviewed at Google and Uber about a month ago, so um, it gave me about three months to study. Um, so yeah, let me talk about the strategy I did, and I've kind of been videoing um, it the whole time, videoing or recording it or whatever, but um, yeah, basically my strategy was I heard about Lee Code at a hackathon um, from one of these kids I was on a team with. And I was like, oh, Lee Code. I, you know, I always thought Hacker Inc. was the main one, but then I went to Lee Code and I saw how nice the UI was and how great it was. So, I started doing Lee Code four months ago because uh, I started applying for jobs about four months ago, and I was like, you know, I'll just casually do Lee Code and I'll get a job. I didn't really think about it too much. Once you get into it, you're gonna get into it. But um, so I was doing Lee Code. I was doing these questions, and I was like, "Why not, you know, do YouTube videos explaining them? Why not stream on Twitch and do all this stuff?" So I started doing that too. Um, and as I, and basically what I did is I think I started trying to do medium ones. I looked at some hard ones at first. I did like a coding competition a while ago. Um, I didn't know how like unprepared I was for a technical interview. Once you start doing the questions, you quickly see how many different questions there are and how prepared you are. So I kind of um, thought, oh, well, I got a CS degree. You know, I got a, I took all these computer science classes, right? So like, I know what I'm doing. I, I'm going to pass these. No, 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 no. Uh, completely was wrong about that. I started doing them. I had no idea what I was doing. Um, you know, I was like, I did some link, I did data structures and algorithms, but like the questions are very involved. So I quickly got thrown into easy questions and um, I was kind of fumbling around and like really struggling to get build like a foundation. And this is basically the strategy I would recommend to anyone when I started really understanding. I was doing like lead code tutorial things, like they have these tutorial things, I didn't like those. I was doing like all, and I was just trying a bunch of different things and it wasn't working out. But let me tell you the exact point where I started really understanding and you could feel it in your brain, like that you're understanding things and you do questions and it's like, I know how to do this now. So I started watching this course. Uh, I'm going to just copy and paste this to the description. Um, I started watching this course. Um... It is an content is provided under a it's an algorithm course, right? MIT Open Courseware. It's on YouTube. You can check it out if you want to. Um, and basically, these videos are amazing. Um, this this dude, I I didn't really understand. I wasn't really um, you know comprehending a lot that this guy says, but this dude Eric Domain or Germain or something like uh. that. Eric Domain. Eric Domain. Every video that this guy makes is amazing. I understand everything perfectly from that guy. So um, I got into this system where basically what I was doing was I was watching, I would, there's this thing called Pramp. And I made a, I also made a video doing a Pramp mock interview so you could see how that is. Go check out Pramp. You can schedule, here, let me just do it for you, you know. Let me just show you right in the video. Let's get real here, you know. You can hit start practice section, uh, start a practice session, 
Um, you could pick anything that you're studying for interview wise. Uh, so data structures and algorithms, and you could schedule every time slot, every two hours from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. So what I do is when I found this thing, I think for at least a month straight, and this is when I really started learning things, I scheduled every single time slot. You get matched with a random person. I would see people multiple times that I already did, and there's tons of people on this thing. So, um, I'd get matched with a random person, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight interview, eight mock interviews a day for a month. I did, um, something about like that. Um, in between those mock interviews, it's every two hours. So you finish the interview and then you, the interviews are an hour. So you have an hour off. So what I do is I would alternate between, I would watch one of the MIT open courseware videos and then I do some problems. So every day I was watching an MIT open courseware, maybe one or two, and I was rewatching them too. You really, I really wanted to get them. I'm watching like algorithm ex explanation videos. Gail Lockman and McDowell's cracking the coding interview videos are pretty good too. Um, and I was watching those videos and then I would do problems like half the time. So I'm doing problems, I'm inter mock interviewing, and I'm doing it the whole day, like literally the whole day interview every two hours, practicing my verbal skills, watching the algorithm videos, and then doing problems. So like, really, I'm that's you're going all out pretty much. Um, and you kind of have to, to really get it down. Um, when I interviewed at Uber and Google, I completely knew what I was doing. The questions they gave me were not surprising to me at all. Dynamic programming is a tricky thing. I think don't get into that. Think of that as one of the last things you might want to do. Um, because I think those are some of the hardest. Build your foundation. Um, I think the easiest topics are linked lists, really easy. Uh, definitely get down binary search, breadth first search, depth first search. Those three are really important. Breadth first search, really important. Learn how to use a queue, learn how to do while loops, put things into the queue. Easy method. Um, uh, depth first search, they usually, I don't know, but, um, um, those are important. Uh, what else is important? Trees really important, I would say. So I did a ton, all the tree problems. They're not that hard. Uh, some stacks, you're going to want to know how to use stacks. You're going to want to know how to use, um, I think save like heaps, save a heap thing, heaps and heap sort dynamic programming and backtracking leave those as like the ending things and start off with some easier concepts like linked list trees stacks and um i think you'll do great you know that's really searching just make sure you know the basics i think they really want you to know the basics and get really comfortable with the language because i've been on interviews and i've been bad with language problems this is a great kit that i went through some i did a lot of these right i did three of these two of these Two of these, three of these, three of these. See, it didn't even do with dynamic programming. So I did a bunch of these problems. Um, I was, you know what else I did? I did um, the Java. I, the, right be, during when I, Google and Uber scheduled their interviews with me, I was like, okay, I want to make sure that my syntax is great so they don't think I'm like an idiot. And I, I didn't do Java. So I, I'm a JavaScript person, actually. But I know Java is a great interviewing language. So I sat down and I just did a ton of this Java tutorial section on HackRank's questions. And if you do these tutorial sections for a language, they start you off at like hello world and they work your way up and you can kind of speed through them if you've done these before. So um, what else? I mean, that's pretty much the strategy. Schedule a million prep interviews, do questions and watch videos in between, Get do the HackerRank language thing. And I really think that if you just grind that out for a month or something, you're really going to get pretty solid at it pretty quickly. It is a little bit of dedication, dedication but um, I don't know. Yeah, and then once you get that foundation, you can kind of go into these easy... I literally, like, it would be like days I would just stare at problems, like problem types. You start categorizing problems too. You're like, oh, there's these are all the same. These are all the same. It's like there's a bunch of different categories. And then you're you're doing you're looking at a category and you're like, I just don't get it. And then the next day you'll be like, oh, I totally get it now. So um, also watch Joe Rogan's uh, interview with that sleep scientist guy. Uh, Math. I don't know what his name is, but 
look up Joe Rogan's sleep, and he explains the, how important sleep is for learning. So make sure you're sleeping a lot while you uh, study. So uh, that's that's all my advice. I'm going to copy and paste this in the description, and I'm going to design legitimate study guides with you know the actual category of question and um, a timeline and what you should do day to day, hour to hour for you know maybe i'll do like a three month time frame to prepare a one month time per frame a one week time frame and then a one year time frame so maybe i'll do like four different time frames a few different very detailed things and i'm going to post those on my patreon i'm going to start adding some patreon content guys so please head over here i have two patrons right now so thank you to you know who you are so thank you all right um that's pretty much it, and thanks for watching, and I hope you guys, you know, do well on your stuff. Um, I, it really pays off the hard work, so just keep going. All right, see you guys. Uh, I'm going to start uploading some more Lee code and um, Pramp and um, Hack Rank soon. So I'm going to get back into it. Just give me, more, just give me a couple more days. All right, see you guys.